extra listen, time. Chris, your own your your own brother, the governor of New York, mm -hmm. said that every time he turned to the administration, the federal government was there with everything. That he did he not say that. And, everything and that, that is not what for. happened. Re yes, he abs yes, he absolutely. No. Go ahead. My brother, what? Listen, Keep talking your about, brother please. asked me these self-righteous questions and talk about people taking it seriously. Does this look like a couple of guys who were taking it seriously? You had your brother on for the Cuomo Brothers Comedy Hour. It did. Test. It was funny as Does hell. Does this sound like somebody who was taking it very seriously? Tim, let now, me tell you. The president has done this every Tim, step of the way. Tim, I got you. Every step of the way, and he's done everything Tim. that states had. Asked All right, so let's deal with that. That's not true. He sent there a is, hospital ship Tim, to New York that, Tim, that they really didn't adequately They even didn't use. need it. And the thank God they provided, didn't need it. Tim, listen, you, you are go. not going to flood the zone it, on this even show. Though it was Tim, extra assistance I'm telling you, I'll cut you off. You're not going to flood the zone on this show. You took your swing. It missed. So now let's discuss. That's the best you got? Is that my <laughs> brother didn't take COVID seriously? Are you kidding yourself that I well, made fun I mean, with him in a time of such acute COVID distress? Patients? He's a nursing home. First of all, he never he never sent that. any. And you know that you know that New York State is 46 no, out of well, 50. Someone did. But he, I, want your talk president, about, I want to talk about people turning covid and the coronavirus crisis into a political weapon, which is what CNN does. All your, day why we won't know, the president listen, adjust his message? Quarantine and went to the I never Hamptons. broke quarantine. Everyone knows you broke. I you, never you broke quarantine. Not. You deny that. I that never. Happened. Absolutely. 100%. God, can you believe Fredo here? He's just lying through his teeth about breaking quarantine when we all already know that he did it welcome back everyone and thanks to all my patreon and subscribe star subscribers as well as to all of you who have donated on paypal you all keep this channel going along with my amazing sponsors and be sure to check them out as well for example healthwithdronetech.com and here's a quick message about that before we get into this cuomo clown show after 20 years old your body will naturally decrease its collagen production by 12 percent each passing decade this is a leading reason as to why skin appears thinner and more wrinkled as we age. It's essential for skin, bones, and more. And the way to keep our skin looking healthy and youthful is by consuming five different types of collagen. Ageless Multi Collagen provides you with the five types of collagen your body needs and one complete protein. Get Ageless Multi Collagen for 51% off plus free shipping by going to www.healthwithdronetech.com or by clicking the the link in the video description box below okay so last night on chris cuomo's show trump campaign communications director tim murtaugh just laid waste to fredo barely even letting him get a word in edgewise which if you're on cnn is the way it should be as usual fredo just ignores all the actions taken by trump in the early days of this coronavirus outbreak he blames all the coronavirus deaths on trump while of course giving his brother a pass in the state with the highest death count per capita in the country. Why we won't know, the president listen, adjust his message? You broke quarantine and went to the I Hamptons. never broke quarantine. Everyone knows you broke. You, I never broke quarantine. Not, you deny that I that never, happened. absolutely, and 100%. And you came home and you pretended to rise up from your basement like Lazarus. You want to mock my getting you sick. You want to mock my getting sick, you can. I'm not mocking you, you getting sick. Of course sick. you are. I'm pointing of out that you, you broke are. quarantine and went I out never to your place broke at the Hamptons while you were COVID And you know it. Isn't it just completely nuts that we all know he did it, it was widely reported in the news and he even admitted it at one point yep because it exposes him as a hack in this interview he just denies it oh yeah definitely someone you can trust for the unvarnished objective truth i'm wowed by how you did it this was very hard i know it's not over but obviously i love you as a brother obviously i'll never be objective obviously i think you're the best politician in the country oh my mistake I guess he's admitting it at least. I just, I really hate that I spend this much time analyzing Chris Cuomo. So listen, Chris, I find it curious, speaking of your brother, mm, you're going to please. ask me these self-righteous questions and talk about people taking it seriously. Does this look like a couple of guys who were taking it seriously? You had your brother on for the Cuomo Brothers Comedy Hour, joking about the size of the Q-tip that you would need for his nose yeah, to get a test. It was funny as Does hell. Does this sound like somebody who was taking it very seriously? Tim. Come on, man. You had to know that this was is gonna come back to bite you, Fredo. You're interviewing your brother, a Democrat Party politician, while denying that you're a Democrat Party operative who produces propaganda. Then on top of that, you proselytize down to the rest of the country like you're some sort of COVID high priest, while you yourself get to live by a completely different set of standards and joke around about this deadly virus that you constantly fearmonger about while using oversized party city props. Look, I do think that the Trump administration should have to answer
answer tough questions about their handling of this pandemic, but not from these clowns. In obviously corrupted fake news outlets that are in reality just glorified Joe Biden campaign PR. You took your swing. It missed. So now let's discuss. That's the best you got is that my brother <laughs> didn't take COVID seriously. I'm First of all, he never he never sent that. any. And you know that, you know, that New York State is 46 no, out well, of 50. Someone did, but here's but what you know most of all. I, I you can't he just wrote even a book talk about leadership. Tim, I, thought I know that he means did. Taking responsibility. You, you should read it, brother. Wrong again, Cuomo. New York State is currently the second highest death count in the country per capita. You got to love that Cuomo and the other hacks in the media will claim that Trump is presiding over the worst death count in the world using raw data and ignoring the fact that the two largest countries in the world aren't being honest about their data. China and India aren't even included in this data. China and India aren't just the two largest populated countries in the world. They're way more populated than any country in the world. So not having the correct data from them really paints an unfair picture. Even so, the United States is pretty far down the list, about eighth right now per capita in the world. But then these same hacks in the media will turn around and call Andrew Cuomo a hero for for presiding over the state with the worst death count in the country per capita. Well, that was another hilarious smackdown of Fredo. If you want to watch more, check out some of my playlists, which are separated by month, and I post pretty much every day, so there's tons of content. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to support this channel, all those links are in the description or pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.